the Honorable President Xi Jinping. Honorable Prime Minister Narendra Modi welcoming the Chinese President Xi Jinping. A firm handshake. From Wuhan spirit in 2018 to Chennai spirit in 2019. The first meeting point, the Arjuna's penance. Archaeological evidences show links had existed about 2,000 years ago between Mamallapuram, the venue of the second informal summit between the two leaders, and China. The Pallavas, whose flourishing seaport was Mamallapuram, had a relationship with China's and had even sent their own voice there during their rule. Celadon Ware pottery of the first and second century common era recovered on the eastern coast of Tamil Nadu suggest Chinese maritime activities and the connect that one saw in the history can also be felt in the present as we see warmth bonhomie camaraderie between Prime Minister Narendra Modi and the Chinese President Xi Jinping. He arrived in Chennai this afternoon to a very colorful welcome and then has now arrived at Mamullapuram. Smiles being exchanged and I'm sure a positive message will go not only to Asia but to the whole world. Prime Minister Narendra Modi while addressing the 74th session of the United Nations General Assembly in New York earlier this year had started by saying that it's a very special occasion because this year 2019 the entire world is celebrating the 150th birth anniversary of Mahatma Gandhi and his message of truth and non-violence is very relevant for us even today for peace development and progress in the world. Dressed in the traditional Chinese attire, Honorable Prime Minister of India Narendra Modi and the President of China Xi Jinping. So that's the traditional Chennai attire and now Prime Minister describing the importance of the Arjuna's penance. This is the unfinished rock cut cave temple. This is towards the north of Krishna Mandapa. This cave temple would have been the largest of all cave temples of the Pallavas. On stylistic grounds, it may be placed later among the Mamallapuram style cave temples in the period of Parmeshwara Varman who ruled from 672 to 700 CE. This cave temple has a unique plan. 
in having a rock cut shrine at the back of the facade hall with an unfinished passage for circumambulation. The facade itself is relieved with a series of what is known as Hara elements. The pillars are unique in having Vyala over the Palaka and below the Kapota as is seen in many examples during those times. This is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. So taking off from the Wuhan spirit, the Chennai spirit will continue to chart the future course of India-China partnership. If we talk about the United Nations Sustainable Developmental Goals, then SDG 17 focuses on the global partnerships. And a positive partnership between two of the Asian giants, India and China, will certainly help in accomplishing sustainable developmental goals. The panoramic view that we see on the Arjuna's penance depicts the life in the forest which is aptly sculptured in two large boulders. The cleft between the two boulders is utilized to show the flow of the river Ganga. All semi-gods, goddesses, celestial beings rush towards the central point to witness the great event. But even as we see this panoramic view of the Arjuna's penance, there is another story. As the legend has it, some scholars identified the panel of the Arjuna's penance with the story of Bhagiratha bringing the Ganges to the earth. This is known as the descent of Ganges. According to them, the representation here is that of Bhagiratha's penance and Shiva granting him the desired boon by agreeing to release Ganga from his locks, the scene representing the descent of the river from the jungle covered hills in the joyful presence of the gods.
महान महाकाव्य महाभारत की जो प्रसिद्ध कथा थी किरात अर्जुन उस पर आधारित है द अर्जुन स्पेनेंस यानी अर्जुन की तपस्या अर्जुन शिव की आराधना करते हैं माना जाता है कि किरात यानी हंटर के रूप में भगवान शिव अर्जुन की परीक्षा लेते हैं कठोर तप के पश्चात शिव द्वारा अर्जुन को वरदान स्वरूप पशुपत अस्त्र जो कि एक दिव्य अस्त्र है प्रदान करने की जो कथा है उसे यहां बखूबी दर्शाया गया है और इस विशाल चट्टान शिल्प के बैकड्रॉप पर वर्तमान में इतिहास बनते हुए ये पल्लव मूर्ति कला का एक उत्कृष्ट उदाहरण है इस घटना के साक्षी तीनों लोगों को जीवन तरीके से अंकित किया गया है भगवान विष्णु का लघु मंदिर भी देखा जा सकता है और कुछ विद्वानों का तो मानना है कि भगीरथ की कहानी जब वो गंगा नदी को धरती पर लाए थे उसे दी अर्जुना पेनेंस में उकेरा गया है और अर्जुन की तपस्या के बाद अब दोनों नेता बातचीत करते हुए आगे बढ़ते हुए तमिलनाडु की पारंपरिक परिधानों में माननीय प्रधानमंत्री नरेंद्र मोदी जी चीन के राष्ट्रपति शी जिनपिंग के साथ चाइनीज ट्रैवलर Yun Sang had visited Kanchipuram which was the capital of the Pallavas in the 7th century AD and he chronicled the life during the Pallava dynasty Yun Sang was very keen on understanding more about Buddhism Kanchipuram then was a flourishing Buddhist center and a hub of learning Prime Minister Modi always emphasizes on people to people contact and one of the joyful ways of ensuring strengthening of partnership is to showcase the rich cultural diversity the country has incredible india from tourist perspective it's important that there are cultural exchanges this is the ganesh rath it's a monolithic temple dedicated to shiva it is also known as atyant kama pallaveshwaram the title atyant kama is to be identified with parameshwara varman 1 
who was a Pallava king from 672 to 700 CE. He continued the tradition of carving of monolithic temple initiated by Narasimha Varman I at Mamallapuram. The Honorable President of People's Republic of China, Xi Jinping, showing keen interest to understand the different aspects of history. गणेश रथ का ये जो पूरा अखंड मंदिर है ये शिव को समर्पित है इट हैज अ नैरो मुख मंडपा विच हैज टू लाइन पिलर्स इन द सेंटर एंड टू लाइन पिलास्टर्स एंड फ्लैंक बाय टू द्वार पालर्स एट इधर एंड Prime Minister Modi had emphasized on the importance of people to people contact through an acronym strength S spirituality T tradition trade and technology R relationship E entertainment that includes movies art N for nature conservation G games T tourism and H for health and healing In the backdrop of the two leaders now Krishna's butterball A photo opportunity for both the leaders. A photograph they say can weigh more than a thousand words. Two powerful leaders, leaders of two powerful economies of Asia. The Krishna's butterball is very intriguing. One wonders how this boulder is delicately balanced by nature. Why does this boulder does not fall? How does it defy gravity? Quite a mystery, but that is why it is such an attraction for tourists across the globe. If you want to see Krishna's butterball you'll have to come to Tamil Nadu India at a place called 
Mamullapuram, which is the venue for the second informal summit between India and China. स्थानीय लोग इसे कृष्ण का माखन लड्डू कहते हैं यह लगभग छह मीटर ऊंचाई पांच मीटर चौड़ाई और वजन में लगभग ढाई सौ टन का है कितनी सुंदरता से बिल्कुल संतुलित खड़ा है कृष्णास बटोबॉल एक प्राकृतिक स्मारक है So the entire group of monuments that includes the Arjuna's penance, the Panch Rats and the Shaw Temple, the three monuments that the Chinese president will get to see today before both the leaders attend the cultural program. The entire group of monuments is considered a World Heritage Site by UNESCO. Indian and Chinese cultures were based on development along river banks. Whether it was the Ganga or the Yangtze River, it provides habitat for humanity, for flora and fauna. And as both India and China aspire to become more and more developed economies, it is also very essential to lay emphasis on the soft power. So in this informal meeting, there is no written agenda, no MOUs to be signed, just a freewheeling discussion and exchange of thoughts. And after visiting the premises of the Arjuna's penance, the two leaders now move on towards the Panch Rathas. The five brothers of Mamalapuram exhibit the different types of vimanas like a magnificent periodic table of Dravidian architecture. These are carved from top to bottom. The five monuments popularly known as Panch Pandav Rathams are temples to Shiva, Vishnu, Skanda, Durga and Ganesha. There are three freestanding sculptures of animals, a lion, an elephant and a bull symbolizing the vehicles or vahans of gods. Every rock and every boulder here stands tall as a testimony to the architecture of the Pallava kings.